stinky. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Sexy Mr. Bustard, guys, gals, whatever. I'm just out here taking a quick ride on the twisties. But anyways, guys, that last vlog was just me kind of running around on the uh, Supermoto. I saw those paragliders on the way home, and I was just like, man, I want to go check this shit out. But, you know, they were up in the air. I didn't think they would stay up that long. I don't know how much gas those little things hold. Whee! And now, Grand Marquis. Marquis, Marquis, whatever. And if y'all haven't heard, for you guys that don't live in the south, we have had a fucking heat wave. I guess you'd call it a heat wave for the last two weeks. Dear God. I mean, it's only... What is it? It's only June. It's not supposed to be, uh... You know... I could see the 90 degree days in uh, October... Or not October, in August in the south. You know, we have very humid hot days in August... Oh, right before fall, but holy shit. Like, it's the beginning of June, or it was, when this started. And I'm talking, like, above 90 every single day. And some of these days it was raining and bumping the humidity. And when I say raining, I mean, you know, just enough to fucking raise the humidity to 100%. So anyways, guys, what I have assembled myself today on the motorcycle to talk to you about is, you guessed it, if you clicked on it and saw the title, it's Dad Stories, Episode 3. Not sure what to call this one, but this one does not involve uh, fishing, which a lot of these will. And this one does not involve doo-doo at all. So, backstory. My dad doesn't drink. He hasn't drank in probably 40 years. He was a pretty big drinker back in high school, especially when you grow up in the, uh, in the South in the 60s. It's uh, really probably not much to do except go get into trouble. And that's what him and his friends were doing. They were hitting up this gas station. I want to say my dad was probably, if he, he was not old enough to drink, I would assume he was either 18 to 20. They were hitting up this gas station that is known for selling beer to kids. He goes in there, gets the beer, you know, makes some small talk with the cashier and comes back out and he's like, where the fuck are my friends? So they drove, I forget what kind of car it was. It was like a big ass, it was some big ass 60s car, 60s or 50s car, or whatever. And they were out there waiting on him. It was him his, and his two other friends waiting on my dad to get out of the store with the beer. And back then, beer was so fucking cheap. You know, he comes walking out with uh, two, like, 12 packs or suitcases or whatever underneath his, uh, underneath his arms nonchalantly as you could imagine yeah instead of seeing his friends there his friends had driven off because a cop pulled up so my dad goes walking outside of this convenience store with 48 beers underneath his look at this fucking douche what the fuck was that fucking ridiculous what a fucking dick dude People need to quit doing fucking dumb shit like that. The dude just fucking passed like three goddamn cars over a fucking railroad track. So not trying to get off the get off topic here and have this turn into a dad story slash vlog. But I understand people people have their hobbies. You know, I, and I don't want to get a, a fucking cyclist debate going, but not that cyclists should not be allowed to ride on the road, because I think they should. But I think that, honestly, there should be designated roads with cycle lanes, especially roads like this where people are driving fast, that you can only ride on them if they have a fucking cycle lane. And that's for their safety and everybody else's safety. Because like you saw with that guy, and I know it probably looked like it was a football field away because of this camera. But that guy passed the cyclist and a car over a railroad track where I was going. People get so impatient 
people get so impatient to pass these people that it just creates a hazard for people coming in the opposite direction. And the reason I'm saying that, this is a very popular, I guess you want to call it like a leisure, a leisurely road or something that people come and ride motorcycles on and stuff. And before I had my camera on, I was coming around a blind corner kind of like this. And there was a guy getting ready to pass a fucking cyclist in a Camaro right around that corner blind. He was all the way in my lane. And he stopped because he saw me come out of the, uh, uh, around the corner. Thank God. So, I don't know. Just food for thought as I've now made this video long as shit. Back to the dad story. So, he comes out with uh, 48 beers underneath his arms. And my dad played football in high school quite competitively. And so he's, he's not exactly a skinny dude. I mean, he's a stout mofo. Look at this fucking Honda, or this fucking Ford has passed this fucking... People are driving like fucking retards today. Fucking shit. Is that an ST? I think it is. This guy's probably like, ah, motorcycle, let me play. When all I'm thinking is, please get off of my ass, please. While I'm telling my dad's story. So he comes out and the officer sees him. And he can tell he's about ready to take off and bolt. And he's like, Boy, you put that beer down! You put that beer down, boy! Right there was, don't you run away, boy! So my dad bolts. And you gotta understand the way that this thing is made, there's like a hedge bush behind this convenience store that leads right into a, a neighborhood and a bunch of houses. The way that this place was built. Please don't run into the back of me with your focus. Hey, that's my fucking neighbor. So anyways, as I let them by and make this fucking boring as fuck. Ugh, <sighs> oh, I ate tuna. My breath smells like fucking shit. That was crazy. That was my fucking neighbor. He lives a couple houses down. I saw him washing his car earlier. So anyways, my dad bolts through this hedge bush with these fucking beers, he, he told me that he kicked his fucking flip-flops off. My dad, I mean, he loves, you know, having those feet airy. So he kicks his flip-flops off and the mofo goes running through this hedge. And what's funny is at that age you think the most important thing is not getting caught with the beer. Because you want to take it back to your friends to, to drink. And, uh... So he leaves the beer in the hedge bushes because he sees the, uh, the cops coming through the neighborhood. The neighborhood's right behind the convenience store. So he sees the cops coming. He drops that beer off and then makes it through the other side of the hedge bush. And then there was another cop coming down through there. So what he said was he went running back through the hedge bush through the neighborhood. And there were two garages. He was looking for people's garages that didn't have uh, where nobody was home. So he could hide under a car or something. He said the first two garages, he ran into the first garage and almost got eaten by a freaking dog. He said the dog just came running out of nowhere, barking at him, almost bit him. The second one he ran into, he, he, he saw the cops coming again. They had those spotlights on their cars even back then, and they're spotlighting. So he jumps over this neighbor's back fence and starts running through the, uh, not the woods, he starts running through their yard and another dog gets after him and he finally gets underneath a car in somebody's carport that's not home. And all this while he is extremely pissed off that his friends have left him. He said he sat there for a good 45 minutes while the cops circled around looking for him. And then afterwards, after everybody left, he went and grabbed the beer out of the bushes and walked over to his friend's house. His friend didn't live that far away from where they were. They probably should have just walked there to get the beer in the first place. And brought beer back and was like, where the fuck did you guys go? What the fuck? Well, anyways, guys, if you like that, hit that subscribe button right there. Hitting that subscribe button as always. If any of you guys live in the Alabama area, hit me up. I'd like to ride or do a, do a vlog with you. Love hearing from people. I'm going to not park by this trash, even though my breath smells like tuna. 
because I ate a tuna fish sandwich. Fucking terrible. And I will see you guys later.